The city of Birmingham, Alabama was founded in 1871 and rapidly became the state's most important industrial and commercial center. As late as the 1960s, however, it was also one of America's most racially discriminatory and segregated cities. Alabama Governor George Wallace was the leading foe of the segregation and Birmingham had one of the strongest and most violent chapters of the Ku Klux Klan. The city's police commissioner, Eugene Bull Connor, was also notorious for his willingness to use brutality in combating radical demonstrators. By 1963, homemade bombs set off in Birmingham's black homes and churches was such common occurrence that the city had earned the nickname Bombingham. Many of the civil rights protest marches that took place in Birmingham during the 60s began at the steps of the 16th Street Baptist Church, which had long been a significant religious center for the city's black population and a routine meeting place for civil rights organizers like Dr. King. At 10.22 a.m. on the morning of September the 15th, 1963, some 200 church members were in the building, many attending Sunday school classes before the start of the 11 a.m. service. Four little girls, Adam A. Collins, Carol Robertson, Cynthia Wesley, and Denise McNair were downstairs. <laughs> 